the monuments of my past. As the years have worn on, many of the landmarks of my childhood have vanished. The Grand First National Bank, the bustling Gulf Station, the lot where my grandparents' home once stood. A few of the monuments of my past remain, however, though they are but ghostly shells of their former glories. One such location is our family barn, though even that is but a childish half-truth, as we never really owned the barn, as we called it, or the property it stood on. When I drive by it now, in my adulthood, it appears like a rusting ship drifting on waves of weeds. Long gone are our horses, Hank, Cindy, and the strong-willed pony Major. No longer do the chickens peck the yard or the rooster crow at dawn. She is but a skeleton, left to be picked clean by the vultures of time and the elements. I try not to gaze too long at the barn, for the memories of hard work and good times overwhelm me. The past is often like that. If we tarry too long, it lingers in our mind and pulls us back like a nagging loss.